today we're looking at my uh, updates that I made to my Inokatsu uh, 2009 and GMP uh, uh, gas blowback rifle. Um, so uh, originally, you know, if you see my previous video, this used to be a 11 and a half inch uh, barrel meant for uh, short to long range engagements. But I decided to just go back to a classic look with the 14 and a half inch uh, yeah, M4A1 stop mod variant. Um, updates. Stop mod stock with the uh, late, uh, right uh, right here. Um, I, uh, just want, I, you know, I stick with my uh, back of my grip, and the uh, receiver is the still the Inokatsu 2009 receiver. Um, I'm also still using the same bolt carrier, and the internals are pretty much still the same GMP internals. However, it has a uh, slightly tuned uh, hammer spring. This is the uh, ProWin hammer spring. This, as, um, as, you know, as some of you know, have issues with the uh, ProWin magazines being activated by the weaker hammer spring hammer springs of the uh, 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 from other manufacturers. But the ProWin one is uh, activates the magazine just fine, and I like the profile of it. It's actually standing up instead of going back, like most of the other hammer springs. Have a slightly more tuned uh, full auto sear, but that's about it internally. The bolt carrier is still the same, you know, uh, still the same RA Tech carrier with the complete kit, still uh, with the end pass kit still running that. Yeah, so uh, optics wise, I have uh, I have a replica of the uh, uh, Trijicon T31, uh, except uh, uh, with the uh, doctor side on top. The uh, the tr there is no tritium and the fiber optics uh, cable is actually just a replica so there's actually no illumination inside of the uh, unit however it does have the correct bullet drop compensated uh, reticle just not illuminated um, for kill, fl uh, kill flash uh, the uh, uh, pack 2 is by GMP it's the red dot version uh, it's one of the best replica uh, laser and light devices that I've actually owned. The light is actually pretty bright for a, say, a 120 bulb with a, a pretty long range uh, throw. The rate, uh, at night I've seen it ranges to 50 feet just fine, good illumination. That uh, is a 5 milliwatt, uh, less than 5 milliwatt laser. Very laser, very bright and very precise laser. I have a uh, Surefire, uh, I believe this is the 910 model, uh, I could be wrong. Um, Wired into my uh, uh, Tango Down uh, vertical foregrip. Uh, have some rail covers. Barrel is uh, the GMP uh, steel 14 half inch in a barrel with a, uh, a matrix uh, 603 by uh, 350 millimeter barrel that's been tapered to the to the diameter of the outer barrel. So there's actually no. Uh, barrel. Uh, there's actually no barrel sway when firing, which is a, uh, uh, which is actually the way to go nowadays. RA Tech, take, uh, RA Tech is doing the same thing to minimize uh, barrel movement or barrel whip inside during firing to just maintain a good uh, trajectory. And then I have the an Icono uh, Nice Iron Company uh, uh, kill, uh, flash hider. Uh, it's the uh, triple tap. The pre-production 2005 triple tap. That's about it. Gun works great. Uh, you know, it has a uh, it performs quite well up to uh, three. I've I've had uh, successful engagements up to uh, well, hundred yards and slightly above that as necessary. Uh, on a good day, you can get uh, very good accuracy with it. Uh, that's about it updates to my Inokatsu and GMP. Oh, wow. 